Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. I'm actually starting to sound like a broken record for me. This is the fourth time I've sat down to do your reading today and it's weird. It's one thing after another. Um, I don't remember what the first one was, to be honest, now I don't remember. The next two were the cards. The cards just stop talking in your reading. I got like maybe three minutes into it and it was just like, where's the message? It's just not there. And then I sat down and I started to do the message again. And there was someone who I was expecting to come by this afternoon. Um, and then they came by. So then I had to stop the recording. And then I sat down again um, now. And I sat down and I, it's funny. So I picked up a deck. I have my cardamancy deck and I have my teeny tiny tarot. We're, I'm going real basic and real clear right now. So I'm shuffling out the cardamancy. I'm thinking, I don't know why I'm picking up this deck. It just feels like I'm supposed to do something different with you to do your energy reading. And as I'm, I, as I'm shuffling the deck, I'm thinking to myself, it literally feels like a block. Like it, your reading keeps getting blocked. Every time I try to do it, there's a block. Whether it's like the card deck I picked up is just not talking. Um, someone comes to the door or, or Lily was barking at something else. And I just, oh my God, it's a block. So I'm shuffling and then the card comes out with the seven of, um, seven clubs, seven of clubs. <laughs> Sorry for me to say that now. I was like seven of pentacles, seven of cups, seven of clubs, a block, <laughs> something. What was it? I can't remember. I put it back in the deck and kept shuffling. And I thought... Dang, that's exactly what I was feeling like. Oh, yeah. Feeling confined or trapped within a romantic relationship or something else. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to be that. Feeling confined or trapped. I thought, this is what it's like. I feel like I'm trapped in this cycle of trying to do this reading for you. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear your energy. I'm going to give you a little energy clear. If you have earbuds on, turn down the sound, pop them out. Here we go. Taurus, shall we get started? So the first thing I want to say, I mean, this is an energy reading. The first thing, without even picking up cards, is a block. There's a block in your energy or, well, something. There's something going on, man. There's something blocking or things always kind of popping up into your day or your path or your life when you had a plan to do this. Uh, all right, not doing that now. Oh, I'm going to, no, no, no. So let's get started. It's general. It may or may not resonate. If it does and you're drawn to it, there will be an extended. Let's hope. The link to that is at the top of the description within this video. Tell me about Taurus. Universe. What does Taurus need to know about themselves, their journey? What the frick is going on? Tell me about Taurus. Can you tell me about Taurus? Thank you. Carter Nancy wants to talk. Spirit wants to talk. Upcoming expenses, repairs, bills, or large purchases. A time of peace and harmony, working well with others to achieve your goals and overcome obstacles. You know what? This is good. Whatever these expenses, repairs, or large purchases, it doesn't feel like it puts you out of anything. So if you are feeling like some sort of a block right now, you're just not getting where you want to go or something in your life isn't moving the way you'd like it to move, that's going to change. There is going to be some sort of See, I read, the, to me, it feels a little bit like the Nine of Pentacles. It's not something that you can't afford. 
whatever this is that's coming up in your life. It could even be like repairing some sort of energy of your own, repairing your own path here. But I feel like that might involve some sort of a purchase for you. And this really, like, it's a good card. The Six of Hearts. It's sort of like, to me, the Six of Cups. A time of peace and harmony, working well with others to achieve your goals and overcome obstacles. And also, because Sixes, Sixes is showing up, Sixes to show up well in um, every element of the Tarot or the Cartomancy, it's... It's got balance. There's This is balance here. Whatever's coming in is meant to balance your life. And perhaps, yeah, like if you're not having growth, you need to invest in it somehow. There's some sort of a block. Yeah. Okay, you have the four of diamonds. A reminder that financial responsibility is necessary to achieve stability and prosperity. And then you have an ace sitting behind that the ace of um space <laughs> to reprogram my mind a significant change something will end for something new to begin i really i feel like this is good i feel like you're blocked or you're you're held back in some part of your life isn't moving forward but it's this is giving you the opportunity to invest in that part of your life and this card came, I was wanting to say that just as I went and looked at this and it confirmed it for me. A reminder, I just want to say a reminder that responsibility is necessary to achieve stability, prosperity and your goals. I don't even want to say it necessarily has to be financial. It could be, but that could also be just how we invest in ourselves and how you invest in the projects that you're involved in, how you invest in the project of your life. There's an expense here. There's a repair to be made. There's a bill that's due on how you invest in the, the path of your life here, the story of your life. There's a large purchase required here, Taurus. I really feel like that. There's a large investment of, on, on your, on, um, now I'm getting tongue tied. There's a large investment required on your part for yourself here. For something in your life and you're being called if if you haven't been moving forward on something if something feels a little bit stuck if you start to try to do something and then the universe kind of cuts you off or interrupts you with a phone call and then you know by the end of the day you think i still never got to that i was gonna get to that and i still never got to oh tomorrow tomorrow it'll happen so tomorrow comes and maybe you completely forget about it like maybe you literally wake up and there's a fire alarm going off or something like just you know, the kids got a cold or they're sneezing or puking. It's just something that immediately you forget about every intention you made as you went to sleep that night. Because it's just like your world woke up the way it was and you had no control. I got to deal with this right now. Then you go to bed and you're laying there and you think, oh, I wanted to get that. I wanted to do this. I want, oh, I didn't even think about it till now. All right, tomorrow, tomorrow. So you can sit down, tomorrow comes. And you start it, and there's that phone call again. It's because the universe wants you to focus on something else here that's not moving. It's as if, if there's other things that aren't moving, if there's something else that isn't moving in your life, it's because of something else that the universe wants you to invest in in yourself somehow here. Uh-huh. And once you do that, you're going to have a significant change. Something got to end for something new to begin. Your energy is full. Your energy is full, Taurus. So how, like, you may have, maybe you've eliminated some things from your life, but it's almost as if energetically some things are still there. Some things are still there. So I don't know if you need to go around and just sing and bowl your house, sing and bowl your room, sing and bowl your life, sage it. If you need to do some sort of visualization practices of energy, certain energies like leaving your space, your energy is full. There's no room. There's no room in the inn. Something will end for something new to begin. The universe is trying to get something to end here. The universe wants something to end for you. Maybe you're hanging on to avoiding an ending. That's a possibility. Maybe you're hanging on to avoiding an ending. Maybe you really hate your job. 
I really need to quit this job. This sucks shit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and just, uh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll think about it tomorrow. I'll look for something new tomorrow. Or, I don't know, something. Something's got to end here for something new to begin. That's why you ain't going forward. Let's pull out the tarot. Or that feels pretty self-explanatory. There we go. Will the tarot help? <laughs> I don't know. I find in terms of reading, tarot is the happy medium. A lot of people don't like cartomancy because it's pretty specific. And if um, if your life's about to suck shit real soon, cartomancy will tell you that straight up to your face. Where the tarot will do it in a way to say, well, there's some obstacles here that you need to think about prepare yourself for some self-reflection and some five of pentacles and make sure your netflix account is up to date <laughs> right well then oracle cards you are the most beautiful thing in the world the universe sees it but not everyone does <laughs> you see what I mean? so cardamancy is here to just tell you straight up honey you got to end something for something to begin there's something in your life that's occupying your space Let's go to the tarot so I can soften it a bit for you. The Nine of Diamonds. The Nine of Diamonds. Two of Swords, King of Wands, Six of Cups. Yeah, you're not listening to your soul here. You're not listening to your soul. The, the, the indecision, and look at all everything that's sitting behind it. The King of Wands and the Six of Cups. This is like, nobody's a leader like the King of Wands is a leader. Like, nobody can stop this leader, honey. Nobody can stop the King of Wands. That's, I've got an intention today and I will follow it through. Oh, you don't like my plan? Well, that's okay. I can do my plan without you. That's the King of Wands. Like, it's just, mm, that's the way it goes. And the Six of Cups, this almost just feels like your soul. Like your soul talking to you here. Hey, there's something that you need to end. Something that you need to finalize. Something that you need to bring a conclusion to. But you're sitting on the, you're sitting on the, I don't know why I'm talking like that. I feel like my Gemini um, rising is all in your face in this reading. I'm sorry, I really am. My Taurus moon is being apologetic to you. Um, yeah. This is like sitting on the pot, but not taking your crap, man. Like you need to get shit or get off the pot. And you need to do it in kind of in a big way. You need to do it in a way that really owns your life. The six of hearts. A time for peace and harmony. Working well with others. To achieve your goals to achieve your goals and overcome obstacles oh here we are sitting on the pot <laughs> the hangman and the strength card i do want to say that because we have major arcana coming out to talk about this that this is significant for you this is about removing an obstacle and i feel like the obstacle is you I feel like I'm doing a tough love, Taurus. I feel like the obstacle is is you, is... Well, really, in anything, this is where I'm gonna get kind of oracle-y here, is in anything, we are really always the biggest obstacle in our own lives. And there's something in your life right now that you are serving as an obstacle to yourself. It could be about, like, you have a thought process or a belief system based around something and you are taking a hot minute here to really look at it on some level it does feel like it does strengthen you moving forward it strengthens your soul it strengthens the journey that you're about to take for yourself but i feel like with the energy that's kind of coming out and what's been taking me forever to do this bloody reading for you taurus is when I put these two cards together, it feels like it's a never ending. Let's strengthen this some more. Let's strengthen this perspective some more. Let me look at this a little bit longer. Yeah. Oh, let me. I, I, yeah. Okay. Oh, let's look at this a little bit longer. It just feels like it goes back and forth because strength is a bit like perseverance. 
it also feels like that if your mindset cannot change on something like maybe you really hate what you work i'm just putting it out there as that like maybe you really hate where you work or you really dislike the type of work that you do but i don't know maybe that's what you went to college or university for and it cost a hundred thousand dollars to get that education so you know what i'm gonna damn well do it. that's my base or your family has already you're following in your parents footsteps somehow the, the just like the element of your mindset is based on this and then to let go of all of that it changes who you are but you see that's what your soul wants to do here your soul wants to get on its journey but there's something in your physical reality your life that it just feels like you're having difficulty letting it end. A significant change. You're going to get a significant damn change. But you're swimming in this energy here. This hangman strength card. Hangman strength card. Hangman strength card. Okay, the four of diamonds. A reminder that financial responsibility is necessary to achieve stability and prosperity. Okay, there's also an interesting message that comes in with that. And I've thought about this a lot in terms of um, karmic and physical restitution that exists on Earth. So when we are born, the minute we are, every one of us are born here on Earth and we take our first breath of air, you owe something to Mother Gaia. You just do. You just did it. And it's also... It's not just that first breath of air, but it's all the resources that went into producing the body that you are now utilizing to crawl, lay on Mother Gaia, Mother Earth. So there is a sense of um, already accumulating a debt. Already accumulating a debt. You can't go through this lifetime without doing that. And then the process becomes paying back the debt. If you don't do it, your ancestors will. So I really just, I sit back and I think about this shit because I do see people who go through different situations where um, a spouse dies or a parent dies, their taxes haven't been paid. Someone's gonna pay that. So it's gonna get, somebody somehow is gonna pay that or they have some sort of a debt. I'll tell you, the estate's gonna pay it. It's gonna come around. And I look at that and I think in terms of a spiritual journey, how does that occur? And literally, we're all coming into a body that was made by Earth in the three dimension. So there is a necessity to pay this back. So, because when I when this comes out, a reminder that financial responsibility is necessary to achieve stability and prosperity. There's something here that you have to end. And it feels like it's connected to your three dimensional experience. Like it's real. It's really in here and you can't move forward until you do it. Perhaps the debt is growing and it just might be the debt that you owe to yourself. It may not even be a debt that you owe to anybody, but it's certainly a debt that you owe to yourself and perhaps even just play out with mother earth, with the three dimensional realm and that you need to end this so that you can have a new beginning because you keep this debt is building up behind you. And it could be a debt and you're not really doing what you really want to do with your life. Or you're just having difficulty releasing something. But it just feels like at this point, you almost have to make yourself stronger to get past the point of how you've been looking at it. And then you get strong and you look at it again. readings i wish we were sitting like hand in hand and i could give you a tea and a chocolate cake <laughs> to make things feel better the four of diamonds the high priestess oh shit wow this is a strong responsibility okay a significant change the ace of spades well, look at that. The first thing that came out was the world card and successful completion.
I feel like you are, whatever this is for you, I feel like you are concerned about how you're perceived, how you will perceive others. Like there's a real shift here in your thinking and your perception. And it's the possibility that there might cause some kind of conflict. But the Six of Swords is saying it's going to move you beyond this. Whatever conflict sits in this for you, whether it's just it's just a mental conflict, a conflict that you think will arise between other people and yourself, it feels very short-lived. And then immediately you go into the Six of Swords. You go into a different direction. You, you go into something new to begin. Let me look at what that is for you. Maybe this is what you just need to hear. There's two ways this could come out, I'm hearing. There's something new to begin. Part of it might be a process about alchemizing yourself after a change with this. This is a strong debt. This is like just kind of telling me it's not just a debt to Mother Earth. It has something to do with the cosmos and your destiny with the High Priestess. So perhaps there's something that you're meant to be doing with your life or meant to be doing for and with others in your life. And you're not tapping into it as strongly as you're kind of meant to be doing. It doesn't mean you can't catch up to this energy. And it doesn't actually even mean that you've fallen behind in it. But it does mean that there's something bigger here going on. The um, Something new to begin. This ace. This ace for Taurus. Finally dropping it. The Ten of Wands. Oh, and some sort of travel. I'm just being drawn to that. The ten of, the ten of um, I want to call it pentacles, uh, clubs. The ten of clubs travel in the near future. This could be moving. This could be some. It could be moving. And it could be about that job. It could be about your home. But finally, this is ending, ending cycles, ending something here that feels, it's much heavier. It's much heavier than I think what you're giving it credit for because you're almost distracted by other things that seem to not just be going the way you want them to go. It's literally because of something else in your life. And it's big enough that the universe is saying, hey, no, not until you do this, not until this happens not until you initiate this for you you've got to do this you owe this to yourself and the cosmos i always feel like too i always imagine each planet and solar body celestial body to be living in itself it is living and it's just Imagine bacteria and little those little mites that live in our hair and on our skin and in our pores. Like in their their perception of things, we may not actually be a living thing. Like be consciously aware the way they are, right? It's just so different because they are so tiny. But that's what Earth is to us. We're all these weird living organisms all over it. But it's this living thing. And what I'm getting with this, with these two cards, and I was talking about sort of your physical karmic debt on Earth to Mother Gaia, is that the longer some of us play into the karmic debt to Mother Earth without pulling away from it at some point, releasing it properly though, and pulling in our spiritual connection is we almost actually start to cause a soul debt to karmic to earth that ends up being something that you have to negotiate in your next life and in some ways you could call that karma but i think karma plays out in the ethereal as well i think it plays out on all dimensions so it could be a fairly large choice for you the universe is definitely taking a hot minute 
And I almost thought, well, maybe I'm not supposed to do Taurus's reading today. I'm going to sit down and try one more time. And my hand grabbed for this cardamancy deck, and I thought, that's really different. I never would have thought of grabbing that. And then here we are with a very specific message. The Ace of Swords is at the bottom, and there's nothing. Look at the Eight of Swords is reversed behind that. The truth. Your truth, your new beginning, dropping the burdens, having some final ending here for you so that you can move forward and start repaying your karmic debt to yourself. I really believe like heavy karmic debt that we've built up in our lifetime, we could be on our deathbed with a huge, a huge load that we're carrying. And if you still have the capacity to mouth some words, to write something out, I feel like you can, you can get ready to exit without that. Like, I don't feel like we really run out of time, but I just feel like you're just going to make it harder for yourself is what it feels like. You're just going to make it harder for yourself if you don't do whatever the universe is trying to get you to do to open up a new path for you. But something's got to close here first, Taurus. Oh, I felt like such a toughie in that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, I guess you have to hear it. I'd love to give you a hug. So here is like a virtual hug. <laughs> I'm going to go do the extended. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.